Hey, this is Enoch here, and it is, as you can see, Christmas is almost here. Uh, it's near the end of the year. And at this time, at the end of the year, a lot of times we look back on the things that we did over the past year, and we look ahead to what we're going to do next year. Now, in this short little video that I wanted to record for you, I want to share with you my thoughts on the number one reason why some people seem to always be able to take massive action in their life and change their circumstances, whereas other people seem to continue to have the same problems over and over and never seem to make any forward momentum. Okay. Now, the key to this, you'll find it in a talk by Simon Sinek, and I don't remember the exact name of it, but it's about um, the title of, of his book, and maybe the talk is called Start With Why. Okay, the reason why a lot of people spin their wheels over and over with things in their life, maybe their income isn't where they like it to be, their health isn't where they like it to be, is because they don't, they haven't identified their purpose. They haven't identified the thing that's driving them to achieve that goal. All right. So right now, and the reason why I'm sharing with you is because it's, it's clear and present in my mind. Uh, one of my business coaches, and I have several business coaches, which by the way is another uh, tip of advice that I give to you if you want to increase performance in your life, get the help of a coach. But one of the exercises that this coach is taking me through is writing out on a piece of paper five pages of why I'm doing what I'm doing, uh, primarily in my business because that's where I'm looking to grow right now. So imagine trying to write you know, five pages of why. Well, you know, you come up with reasons like to provide for my family, to help architects around the world, to have meaningful connections and relationships with other people. And then as I do that over and over, I'm building up the muscle of training my mind to understand my purpose and my why. So if you understand your purpose and your why, you will be willing to knock down brick walls to get at it. All right, just, just imagine something, you know, imagine one of your goals, one of the things that you want to change in your life over the next couple months or the next 12 months. How badly do you really want that thing? You know you want to get the results of that thing in your life, but are you willing to make the change? And, and why do you want that thing? Okay, on the scale of 1 to 10, how motivated would you say you are to accomplish that goal? Now, let's just say, for instance, that someone you love gotten kidnapped, abducted, and was held for a ransom. You know, what would you do to be able to get, to get that person back into your life or to help them out? Let's say someone was experiencing some chronic illness or something, heaven forbid. Right? What would you do or what would you give up to be able to help that person? My guess is that that's probably at a 10 out of 10 scale. All right. Same thing for me. If my family was in danger, something bad was going to happen to them, or if my life was threatened. You know, if someone told me, Enoch, you have to go do this thing before the end of the week or else you know, we're going to put you up on the guillotine, then you better, be, you better guarantee I'm going to do everything with my power to be able to do that thing. All right. So that's the reason why a lot of us struggle and we spin our wheels in a lot of areas in our life is we may be at a five or a six, we might be at an eight with our goals. So I'm going to have you, I'm going to suggest you do a little exercise right now and that is just pull out a piece of paper and write down some of the things that you want in your life, whether it's more better relationships, whether it's a closer sense of connection with your friends, or your family, maybe it's a greater income or more fulfilling, satisfying and larger projects, okay? And then write down on that list, rate those things from a scale of one to ten, how motivated are you to actually get those things? And then after you do that, write down your reasons why. What is your purpose? for wanting those things. If you want to grow your income, why do you want to grow your income? Is it just to pay the bills? Is it so that you can help out a charity? Is it so you can have more free time to do the things that you love? And really drill, in, drill down on that. And if you do that, what you'll find is that you need to go through this process week after week. I suggest you do this exercise weekly and let that purpose start to be more present in your mind. And as you do that, you will find that you'll start taking those action steps you need to get the success in your life. So I'm going to invite you to go on this process with me because I'm doing this currently in my life of writing down the things um, that motivate me, that are my purpose, and I'm just inviting you to come along on this journey with me because both of our lives will increase and get better because of this. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. If this is on a page where you can like it, share it. would really appreciate that. Give it a little heart so that other people can see this message because it's not about me. It's not about you. It's about all of us being able to find our purpose and do better at what we're meant to do here on this earth. Now, as a quick side note, if you haven't already gotten my architect marketing gift, you can go to freemarketinggift.com and you can get that. So go ahead up, go check that out. And as always, carpe diem.